Hey Ross, so Seven Nation Army. Okay, so we've got basically three different bits on this, right? We've got the main riff where we're just playing single notes at a time. Got those two power chords on the third fret and then the fifth fret. That's the kind of in between, the bit that goes in between the other two sections. Then you have the big bit, which is the riff, but in power chords. So, so we'll just go for the main one first, okay? So remember, you got your first finger, seventh fret on the A string, but remember to have your little finger just hanging over the tenth, because if you start it off like this, you know, it's going to take you too long to get it down. So just have them all, each finger hanging over the, fr the fret that they're meant to be playing, because that way it won't take you any time to get those notes down. So just have it hanging over like that, never have it up here, and then you have to go all the way down. So... Very small movements. See, see the way it's still already there, ready to go. Okay. Okay, and just that over and over and over again. Make it nice and strong, nice and solid, tight. Okay, and don't forget to play along with the real thing as well. All right. So then the other bit was the power chords here, and remember, you've got to string these sections together. It's it's one thing to play them one then the other but you have to be able to play them one after the other and keep rhythm the whole time so when you're coming out of this one like that okay so you're on the seventh fret then you're just going down to the third power chord position so you're going up on the fifth and if you want to practice that sort of power chord movement just go But make sure that the position is right so you don't want this to happen okay see the way it kind of sags down like that make sure they're you've got it tight here and if you have to adjust it do take the time to adjust it okay so then we've got eight strums on each one and we're right back into the riff straight after that So make sure you're you're stringing them the different sections together. So then the the last bit is the the kind of the chorus, the big bit, right? So we've got the same riff, but we're doing it with power chords instead. Okay. So same idea there. Just keep that shape there. See the way you've got one here, two frets between them. Okay. Okay. And just practice going. Just practice all the different positions there, and just learn to kind of keep that power chord shape tight so you don't want this kind of happen where the shape kind of sags right so and as well to make it sound a bit bigger again you can leave your two thin strings open okay and just practice it over and over and over again okay but with this one keep it nice and slow for for the start okay you know when you're starting out because these power chords have to be clear okay the shape has to be kept solid all the way it's like this okay so practice them over and over and over again and string them together okay like you would if you were just playing the whole strong straight through all right keep it up